Epipanyo Labrador Epipanyo Labrador Komentaristang walang inuurungan Walang kinatatakutan Nakikipaglaban para sa karapatan Ng mga maralitang inaapi Na mga taong mapangabuso Sa kanilang mga kapangyarihan Epipanyo Labrador Epipanyo Labrador Ang boses ng taong bayan Abangan araw-araw Ang kanyang pakikipaglaban Sa mga politikong kurap Na umaabuso sa kanilang mga kapangyarihan Epipanyo Labrador Epipanyo Labrador Tagapagtanggol ng bayan Eh sinabi ko na po ang totoo I don't even know the answer why my visa was invalidated by I have a daughter waiting for me Who attempted to kill herself three times I cannot leave her It's the chair, she's waiting for me <laughs> She attempted three times, Mr. Chair. That's why I cannot leave her. <laughs> Now, I will answer all your questions, Mr. Chair. With regards to my travels, that is the, that's the real answer. I do not know why my visa was canceled, Mr. Okay. Chair. You were cited in contempt because you're evading questions from the very start by the members of this committee. Not because my question about your U.S. travel. Confuse mo yung yung uh, yung pag-announce ng inyong appointment kaysa dun sa assumption. Di po ba? But, yes, maybe. On record. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, Chair. You announce in a in a flag ceremony that you are availing of early retirement. That was in June 22, 2019, and two days thereafter. Former President Rodrigo Duterte announced your appointment as PCSO General Manager. Ganong kakalakas. May I know from uh, from uh, Colonel Leonardo and Colonel Garma. If you held a meeting in Davao in June 28 of 2016, no, Mr. Chair. No, you do. You did not have a meeting with your class, former classmates, class of 96 of the Philippine National Police Academy. On Remember, that, you are under oath, huh? On that uh, very day, Mr. Che. Ano? Uh, same day, Mr. Che. PNPA classmate mo. Opo, Mr. Class Chair. Class of 1996. Ang, uh, may I be clarified, uh, clarified Mr. Che? Nagkaroon kayo ng meeting doon sa Davao last June 28, 2016. Uh, yes or no? Nagkita-kita po kami, Mr. Chair. Meron eh, pong naalala ko na nagkita-kita kami. Kung nagkita-kita kayo, nag-meeting po ba kayo? Yun ang tanong ko eh. Pakisagot lang po ng yes or no. Uh, no, Mr. Chair. You did not meet with your classmates. Mr. Chair, hindi po kami nag-meeting. Nagkita-kita lang kayo. Opo. Ang uh, ibig ko sabihin, Yung mga Mr. classmates Chair, yung... mo, galing sa iba't ibang lugar, nagkita-kita kayo doon. Not, uh, opo, nagkita-kita po. I think kita it's po. your answer. Tama? Nagkita-kita nagkita yes. po kami, Mr. Chair. Umiiwas ka kaagad, Iho, eh. Parehas lang tayong galing sa CIDG. Di ba? Pero ako naging hepe, ikaw hindi. Yes. Colonel Garma, would that be true also that you met with your classmates, members of Class 97, yes, in Davao City on yes. June 28, 2016? I'm not sure of the date, Mr. Chair, but there was a meeting. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, there was a meeting. Okay, I'm just establishing the fact. Yun ang sagot ninyo. You're not very sure. Kasi I'm sure. Sigurado ako. Kasi we have witnesses. Tatanuin ko ba ito kung hindi ko alam? You're under oath. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, you met. 
Yes, Kasi Mr. Matter I fact, said yes. May sinundo ka pa nga sa airport eh. Di ba? I'm just refreshing your memory. Correct? So, you met before July 1 of 2016 when President, former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte took officially office. Now, Mr. Chair, uh, may I move that we direct the Director General of PDEA to come up with a study kung saan nagsimula talaga yung drug list. Kasi ang report po eh, kuwan eh, merong una, original, may, may second, at saka may third. May move, Mr. Chair, that we direct uh, Director General of PDEA to conduct an investigation kung saan nagsimula, ano yung nasa listahan, and where did it originate? So move, Mr. Chair. Second. Okay, there is a motion uh, as stated and duly seconded. Second. Are there any objections? No objections? The motion is carried. Uh, DG Lasso, you are directed to uh, comply with the request of uh, Congressman Akop. Uh, with, re with regards to the list uh, of uh, the first, the second, and the third, third list. There, uh, ac according to reports, Mr. Chair, there are three lists. The original, the first, and a commendation of the first and second. Yes, Your, uh, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, may I ask Director Gerald uh, Lasso, what, what do you understand by the phrase or the statement, there is always a time for reckoning? Uh, Your Honor, uh, it means uh, hindi parating fiesta. <laughs> hindi parating nakahilata. Sometimes dada pa ka rin. Hindi palaging sarap. May hirap din. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Karamihan <laughs> uh, po sa tanong kanina ay tungkol sa kung gaano po kalapit si Colonel Leonardo at kay Colonel, si Colonel Garma doon sa ating former president, uh, President uh, Duterte. May no kung sino po ang pinaka-senior na Police officer present this after this evening. Oh, sama this evening na pala. Meno, who is the most senior officer? Please identify yourself. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. I'm uh, Police Brigadier General Noel Santobal from the DADL. Anong class ka sa PSP? 94, sir. 1994. 94. Okay. Yes, sir. And you have been in the service for a long time? 32 years, sir. 32 years. And you were on, what was your rank during the time of the former president? 2016, I think, That's uh, 2016 to 2022. Police, uh, police colonel, sir. Police colonel. Yes, sir. Nung panahon na yun, ano sa palagay mo, o sino sa palagay mo, ang tatlong official na pinakamalakas kay former President Duterte? Uh, I have no idea, sir. You do not have an opinion? At all? General, did you take your oath? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. I'm just reminding you. I, I, I am not... Uh... I am not really into that kind of ano, kasi sir, uh, since uh, 2012 assignment. I'm not, I'm not asking whether you're in that practice. I'm just asking what is your opinion? Sino ang tatlong opisyal na pinakalakas, pinaka, ng PNP na pinakamalakas kay former President Duterte? Alam uh, naman lahat na ng mga opisyal eh. Ako naman, no? Yes, sir. Uh, the chief PNP, sir. Who? Uh, GPNP Batu, sir. Because he was uh, appointed by the president. 
And probably, sir, yung command group niya. The, uh... <laughs> command group niya? Yes, sir. Magkikita pa rin tayo. You're not answering me correctly. Kasi yung answer mo officially siguro because of their position. Pero ang tinatanong ko, yung opinion mo. Yes, sir. That is my opinion, sir. That is your opinion. So, B. Uh, yeah, uh, Colonel Leonardo, were you the one who introduced Colonel Garma to then President Duterte? No, no, Mr. Chair. No. No. Sigurado ka doon? Yes, Mr. Chair. Sino ang mas malakas sa inyo ni... General uh, De La Rosa kay President, former President Duterte kasi ito yung mga tanong na indirectly tinatanong ng aking mga kasamahan eh. Ako na lang magtatanong na diretso. Definitely, Mr. Chair, uh, mas malakas po si Sir Bato. Uh, Mr. Chair. Senator Bato, Mr. Chair. Kasi Napilit ka niya na mag-retire early. I do not be, uh, I believe otherwise, Colonel. You know why? Narinig ko na minsan yung sinabi ni Bato, mayroon pang isang opisyal na mas malapit sa tainga ni former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Hindi mo ba narinig yun? Hindi ko po okay. narinig mo siya. Huwag kang mumiti sa akin. Eh. Ano naman, Iyo? <laughs> Nagutin mo yung tanong ko. <laughs> Kasi totoo naman sinabi yun eh. Di ba? Uh, possibly, Mr. Chair. Sabi ka pa uh, Possibly po. Uh, hindi ko po uh, narinig na sinabi uh, ni uh, ayaw mong, Senator Batong. Ayaw Batom, mong magsinungaling ng todo-todo. Ah. Kasi sinabi talaga ni Senator Batong yun. There is somebody in the PNP who's Uh, who is nearer the ears of the President. Hindi nga siya nagbanggit ng pangalan, pero merong alingas-ngas kung sino yon. Now, Madam Garma, you have always denied na close ka sa Presidente. Pero there had been reports na ikaw ay nakakaderetso doon sa Malacanang. Basta dumaan ka kay Senator Bongo. Would that be correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. So, ang tanong ngayon ng karamihan sa aking mga kasama kanina, eh sino po ang mas malakas kay Presidente sa inyong tatlo? Senator De La Rosa, Colonel Leonardo, or Colonel Garma? Siguro yung mga tao na present ngayon, nanonood, kayo na po ang bahala magdetermine kung sino po ang mas malakas. Kasi sa akin, meron po akong sariling panukala o pag-iisip kung sino. Now, may I request uh, jail Jail Captain Poro. Yeah. The third in command of the Davao Penal Colony. And uh, the one in charge of the Bartolina. Yung in charge sa Bartolina, ikaw yung tinanong ko nung previous hearing? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. Yes, okay. Now, may I ask the PNP first, before I go to my main uh, topic, why can't you not produce SPO4 Narsolis? Do you not know where he uh, is? No, no, sir. For now, sir, I cannot. Uh, I have no idea for now, sir. I cannot answer your the question, sir. May I ask Comsec if the PNP was directed 
to see to it that uh, SPO4 Narsolis retired will be able to uh, attain, uh, attend this uh, hearing. And by and yung PNP, naibigay nyo ba yung invitation sa kanya? Uh, if I may, uh, Congressman Akop, uh, I was uh, advised by Colonel Kunanan that uh, uh, he assisted the committee secretariat in, ex in extending the invitation to Art Narsolis in several addresses. And uh, one of those addresses that uh, uh, they delivered the invitation, it was the son who received the invitation. And unfortunately, when they were asking for the contact number of Mr. Artner Solis, the son did not cooperate with the PNP. So, uh, maybe in the next uh, hearing, uh, we will have to ask the PNP and the NBI to bring him to the committee because he has already been cited in contempt. Mr. Chair, there's a system in the Philippine National Police so that the PNP can be assured na yung mga retirees po ay buhay. Lahat po ng retirees may kabadi. In my case, ang kabadi ko po yung, yung security officer ko. And every three months, I think, kumukuha sa ng litrato kasama ko. Para masabi, may hawak ako na dyaryo o kaya kalendaryo para makita na buhay ako nung araw na yon. So, bakit nahirapan ng PNP? Para hanapin siya. When there is such a system for them to be able to locate SPO4 Narsolis. General Sandoval, can you... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, based on our uh, coordination with PRPS, sir, uh, the subject personnel sir, has already received only the lump sum but not yet receiving the pension. So, wala pa po daw siya ang kabati. Kailan po nag-retire si SP4 Narsolid? Uh, August uh, 2021, sir. 2021? Yes, sir. Uh, August. August. Hindi ba ang... I do not know if it is true now, pero ang lump sum mo, hindi ba three years lang? Would you know that? Yes, sir. Oh, hindi ba? Yes, sir, but the pension is not yet being received by the subject personnel, sir. Hindi pa ah, na, wala pa, sir. Hindi pa siya nagpe-pension. When would it start? Uh, on process pa lang, sir. I don't know how, how, when will it start, sir. But Kailan? based on PRBS, sir, naka-process naman, sir, yung kanyang... Pension. Hindi yun ang punto ko eh. Uh, sabi nyo, naglamsam. Pero I know for a fact, kung hindi pa napago yung buwan, yung uh, sistema natin, ang pwede mo lang ilamsam ay three years. After which, you will receive your monthly pension. Di po ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. O kaya, hindi nyo lang alam kung paano siya hanapin. Uh, as explained naman sir na nahanap naman sir yung anak kanina but uh, uncooperative sir okay thank you uh, may request that the uh, attorney Galicia of the NBI would take note of uh, of what would be taken uh, after the numerous hearings of uh, uh, this uh, Quad Committee on uh, Extrajudicial Killing, nandito na, pa, nandito na po lahat yung major players ng conspiracy to commit murder doon po sa Davao Penal Colony. Ang absent na lang yung tao na hinahanap natin, SPO for Arthur Narsolis, na tauhan, ni uh, Colonel Leonardo at naging tauhan din ni Colonel Garma. Would that be true? Colonel Leonardo and Colonel Garma? Uh, correct po, Mr. Chair. How about Colonel Garma? Yes, Mr. Chair. And up to the time that you were with PCSO, in assigned din ni Colonel Leonardo si SPO for Narsolis sa PCSO. 
Would that be correct? Y yes, Mr. Chair. Correct po, Mr. Chair. Yes. So, si Colonel Leonardo ang nag-assign kay SPO for Narsolis na kasama niyo noon pa sa Piseso. Uh, I, I believe meron pong uh, or, uh, covered by orders, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Yeah, I know. Uh, Pares tayo galing servisyo eh. Kaya alam ko naman na may orders niyan. Ang sinasabi ko lang ay yung katotohanan na si SPO for Narsolis na kasama niyo pa noon pa ay na-assign sa PCSO. Under what conditions, I do not know whether it's in accordance with protocols of the PNP. Hindi ko alam yun. Na pwede i-assign ang isang polis sa civilian agency. So, I do not know how you did that. But be that as it may, nandito na po lahat ang kwan. Nandito yung superintendent ng penal colony. Nandito yung uh, tatlong PDL na narinig nyo na lahat yung testimony nila. Nandito na rin yung kasamahan ni Superintendent Padilla, si, uh, si Jail uh, Captain na ba, iho? Jail Captain Poro at saka yung in charge ng Bartolina. Kasi yung conspiracy to commit murder, sabi po nila ay nag-start nung... Pumunta si SPO for Narsolis at kontakin yung kaklase niya ng high school. Inamin ni uh, PDL uh, Tata Tan na kaklase niya sa high school. At kinausap niya tungkol sa isang operation sa loob ng Davao Penal Colony. Yun po nangyari. Now, yung operation na yun na sinasabi involved the killing of three alleged Chinese drug lords who were detained inside the Davao Penal Colony. Una, dalawa pa lang na Chinese drug lord. Pero may transfer na pangatlo from a different penal colony. Now, PDL Tata Tan contacted the PDL Andy Magdadaro to help him accomplish the plan. Nandun naman lahat sa affidavit nila, subscribe and sworn to. Now, this operation resulted to the killing of the three Chinese drug lords. How, di how did this happen? Uh, the killing of the three would not have been committed without the participation of officials and members of the Davao Penal Colony. And what were the acts of said officials? There was a statement by... by uh, PDL Tatatan na sinabi nila kay SP of Foreigner Solis na mahirap gawin na patayin yung tatlo simply because magkaiba ang lugar nila. Yung foreign nationals na nakakulong eh nakakulong sa ibang lugar yung mga locals na sa ibang lugar. So this information was relayed to SP of Foreigner Solis. Sabi ni before Nasolis, ako nang bahala. Uh, what followed was Galugad Operations. Tama, Jail, jail Captain Poro. You Opo. conducted two Galugad Operations. One, doon sa selda ni na uh, PDL sa uh, Tata and Andy. And doon sa foreign nationals. Would that be correct? Opo, Your Honor. Correct. And according to your statement and answer to the questions, inamin mo na it was in accordance with the approval of your jail superintendent. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you, you stated or you answered that under oath. Yes. Opo, Your Tama. Honor. Opo. Okay. Now, sa galugat operation sa kinondak, dito sa dalawang PD, local PDLs, Ang nakita nyo ay empty shabu sa chase. Opo, Iron. Empty shabu sa chase. Opo. Walang shabu, kundi sa chase lang. Tama? Opo, Iron. Yes. And uh, naggalugad din kayo, nagkontak kayo ng galugad operations doon sa foreign uh, nationals. Tama? 
Tama po, Your Honor. Ano po ang nakita nyo? Nakuha nyo dun sa tatlong uh, foreign national PDLs? May mga cellphone, uh, pocket wifi, charger, pati po mga playing cards po, Your Honor. And because of these violations, according to you, uh, they were ordered to be placed in, Bartol in Bartolina, Zelda number 6. I, walang ano po, Your Honor, uh, SOP kasi, Your Honor, pagka nakabiolate ng prison rules, pwede na po ilagay kagad doon sa preventive cell. Pero ang nakalagay po doon, Your Honor, yung ship commander po. Tinuor po ko sa ship commander. Huwag ka nang umiwas, Iyo. Apo. Kasi kahit napapaano, sasabit ka. Huwag ka nang umiwas. Iiwas ka pa eh. Diba? Do not justify anymore, Iyo. Kasi nandun pa lang sa pagsasagot mo dito sa so, katanungan namin and your answers were all under oath. May sabit ka. Sinasabi ko na sa'yo. Now, also, during that time, according to the uh, one in charge of the Bartolinas, there were six Bartolinas there. Tama? Iho, yung in charge ng Bartolina? Sinagot mo sa akin noon, anim. Yes po, Your Honor. Tatlong malaki, tatlong maliit. Yes po, Your Honor. Oh, tama, yung sagot mo. Tapos, what is startling about your statements would be the fact na yung limang Bartolina, punong-puno, sobra na yung mga tao na nandun. That was your answer sa aking pagtatanong nung nandun ka na ko po. Yes po, Your Honor. Oh, so, punong-puno. Pero ang sinagot mo, doon sa selda number 6, dalawa lang ang nandun. Tama. At ang dalawang nandun ay si PDL Tata at saka si PDL Andy. Correct? Yes po, Your Honor. Ang tanong ko, bakit punong-puno yung lima na selda ng Bartolina? Eh bakit hindi nyo dinala dun sa selda number 6 na dadalawa lang ang nandun? Hindi mo masagot nun. Hindi ang sagot mo sa akin nun, if I remember it perfectly, hindi ka naka-duty. It's on record. Your Honor, hindi po ako naka-duty ng August 13. Kaya nga, yun ang po. sagot mo sa akin noon. Ang sagot mo, nung tinanong kita, bakit punong-puno yung limang selda, ay eh, doon sa pang-anim na selda, dadalawa lang andon, dapat transfer mo. Di ba? Kung wala kayong plano, ay eh, dapat pinuno nyo yun. Pero in-reserve nyo yun, para doon sa dalawa, kay Tata Andy at saka PDL uh, Tata. At doon nyo dadalhin din o dinala yung tatlong foreign PDLs kasama ng dalawa. Pwede po magpaliwanag, Your Honor. Pa ano ipapaliwanag mo, Iho? Wala pa naman akong ang tinatanong ko. Hindi ba ganun ang nangyari? Uh, ang pag-a-assign pag po kasi Akala nung... ko ba hindi ka duty para kaya hindi mo alam? Nung August 13 po ako, hindi duty or honor. Nung Sabado. Kaya Sabado linggo man po ang kaya ang, ah, rest day eh, ko. Eh, eh, huwag ka nang umiwas, iho, at sabit ka rin. Hinasabi ko na sa iyo. Kasi yung mga circumstances would point to the fact na kaya ako nga tinanong nung araw na yon. Ilan ang Bartolina? Ang sagot mo, anim. Tatlong malaki, tatlong maik uh, maliit. At tinanong ko, ilan ang mga taong nandun? Sinasabi mo nga, sobra, punong-puno. Ang tanong ko sunod, bakit doon sa selda number 6, dadalawa lang nandun, hindi nyo inilagay yung sobra doon? Kasi may plano kayo. Pwede po magpaliwanag, Your Honor. Hindi na kita hinihinga ng paliwanag eh. Sorry po. Ang sinasabi ko, kung ano ang sinagot mo sa akin nung tinatanong kita. Di ba? Hindi ba katotohanan o nag, nagsisinungaling ba ako? Hindi po, Your Honor. O, totoo lahat yung sinabi ko. Yes Kasi po. Kasi yun ang sagot mo sa akin noon. Yes po, Your Honor. Di ba? So, huwag ka nang umiwas. Kasi talagang kasama sa plano na sa selda number 6 ng Bartolina, doon dadalhin yung dalawang local local PDLs at saka yung tatlong one, uh, foreign uh, PDLs at doon sila pinatay.
ba? Diba? Ang report ninyo, ano to? Naglaban sila. Yun ang report ninyo. That's why they were charged for homicide. Pero hindi nyo alam, it worked against your favor because according to PDG uh, Director General Lasso, there is always a time for reckoning. I think the reckoning is now. Mr. Chair, may I move that the NBI should conduct an investigation and get all the pieces of evidence and documents given to this committee so that they can file the necessary charges against those people who should be charged because of this uh, crime, Mr. Chair. So move, Mr. Chair. Second. There is a motion uh, to direct the NBI to conduct a thorough investigation on the death that uh, happened in the Davao Penal Colony and uh, it was duly seconded. Are there any objections? Hearing none, the motion is carried. Uh, Colonel Leonardo, last uh, hearing, we asked you to submit your sal and and uh, you have submitted that to the committee. I have it here with me. And uh, dito sa ibang sal and uh, sinabit mo dito ay yung year 2021, ang iyong network ay lumalabas na 6.6 million pesos. Is that correct? Correct, Mr. Chair. You have the copy of your sal and there, no? Uh, wala po akong copy ang dala. Uh, Comsec, can you provide him a copy of his uh, document that he submitted? Matanong ko lang, uh, is your wife uh, working? Does she work? Or anong, uh, what does your wife do? Uh, sa bahay lang po, Mr. Chair. Uh, so, is a housewife? No business? Uh, Ma maliit na business lang po, Mr. Chair. Kasa kasama niyo yung daughter ko. Uh, so, your daughter has a business? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Uh, pwede bang malaman ano yung business? Meron pong uh, car wash lang, sir. Uh, uh, saan ito? Sa Manila? Sa Dabao po. Dabao. Sa Dabao? Dabao po. Okay. Pwede bang malaman ano ibig sabihin itong Sar Leon Logistics? Nakalagay dito, uh, you were asked kung ano yung iyong business interest at saka ano yung financial connections mo. Ang nilagay mo rito are Sar Leon Logistics in Dabao. Nature of business, interest and financial connect, personal. What is this Sar Leon Logistics, uh, Colonel? At uh, tracking po nung araw yan, Mr. Chair, na... Na, ano po, na nalugi rin po, Mr. Chen, na nahinto po. Nahinto? Ang, ang, nagba, ang nagmamanage po niyan, yung anak ko rin po. Yung alin yung? Yung anak ko rin po, yung, uh, yung anak ko po ang nagmamanage. Tracking business po yan, uh, <coughs> naka-under uh, subcontract po sa LBC, yung pong nagdi-deliver ng mga cargos po. Uh, so, nagdi-deliver ng cargos sa... From the pier to the port? Uh, from the from port? LBC po. Uh, ah, LBC. LBC warehouse. Uh, ito door to door po namin. Ganun po. Ah, uh, okay. So, truck ito. Ilang pirasong truck ito? Ah, uh, mga, uh, meron pong, sa naalala ko lang po nung uh, panahon na yan, meron pong uh, mga L300, uh, meron pong Uh, more or less po mga anim, Mr. Hindi po ako sure kasi hindi po akong nag-manage dahil ako po ay nasa nagtatrabaho pa po. Naman. Pero family business nyo to? Uh, sort of, uh, Mr. Chair. Bakit uh, sort of? Uh, hindi 100% sa inyo? Kasi po yung misis ko nagbigay po ng uh, konting uh, puhunan din. Hindi lamang po solo ng anak ko nung mag-asawa siya, Mr. Chair. Uh, so, pero ito ay negosyo ng misis mo at ng anak mo? Uh, bali sa anak ko, kaya lang may share lang po itong aking... Si Mrs. Uh, okay. Ilan ba anak mo, ano, Colonel? Dalawa po. Okay. Dito sa iyong salen, yung uh, sinabmit mo on uh, ang date ay 2021, ang iyong net worth ay 6.6 million. Uh, can you confirm that? Opo, Mr. Chair. Pagdating naman ng 2022, ang net worth mo ay tumaas ng 
8,150,000 pesos. Tumaas ka ng mayigit almost 2 million pesos. Tama po ba? Can you confirm that? Opo, Mr. Chair. Pwede bang matanong kung ano kaya ang dahilan? Ba't tumaas yung iyong uh, network? Nat, uh, nadagdagan po kasi yung aking uh, ito pong uh, IT equipments po. Nadagdagan yung? Yung mga uh, gadgets, uh, mga cellphone, IT equipment, laptop po. Nadagdagan din po ako ng 2020 na ano po. Ayun din pala. Hindi naman tumaas yung... Yung kas. Kung kas, ano yung dinagdag yung kas, mo. <laughs> Ko ano yung sinabi mo rito na iyong personal properties gaya ng IT equipment, laptop, cellphone, guns, firearms, uh, cash at uh, motorcycle, BMW, GS1250, furnitures and fixtures, eh hindi naman nagbago noong 2021 at saka noong 2022. Eh saan banda tumaas yan? Mr. Chair, uh... never, never mind. I'll just oh, give you a... Baka namali lang po ng ano, Mr. Chair. Okay, Mr. Chair. sige. Pero, baka nga, baka nga namali. Oh, That is po, uh, meron... 2021 at saka 2022. Pero itong 2023, yung 8.150 million mo ay naging 9.150 million. Eh, hindi naman siguro maring nagkamali ito. Uh, Kernel, kasi mula noong 2021... From 6.6 million to 2023, and naging 9.150 million. So, merong kang increase halos taon-taon. Tumata sa iyong net worth. So, bibigyan kita ng panahon para makasagot ka sa komiting ito sa susunod na hearing. Iyan damo lang ang iyong tanong kung bakit tumaas ang iyong net worth. Opo, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, a while ago, uh, GM Karma said that during her time that she is giving a budget to the Philippine National Police. Am I right? Wala po akong sinabi, Mr. Chair. Kanina, meron kang sinabi na Wala binibigyan niyo ng budget ng Philippine National Police for the operations? Wala po, Mr. Chair. Wala kayong sinabi? Wala. Let's look at the records, Mr. Chair, because I think that she said something that way. Secretariat, can you check the records, the transcript? If indeed that statement must wait, must was made by uh, GM Garma. Mr. Chair. So, uh, Mr. Chair, in relation to that, I think uh, I heard Mr. Chair Femi Piala. I think I heard uh, Colonel Garma saying about the support uh, that you give you give to. That is the the allocated uh, for the. It's a charity fund. Uh, Allocated PNP, sa sales no? of STL and sa PCSO. Parang ano po, yung STL, something about the STL. Uh, so, it, it, the fund that you provide the PNP is a charity fund. Yes, it is in the... And that is in the charter of the PCSO. PCSO. Yes, it is covered, Mr. Chair. Uh, so, how much do you give to the PNP every year? Um, During my time, kasi dati, I think it's medyo malaki before I assume... And then when I assume po and we change the IRR, very minimal na lang po siya. I'm not sure kung 1% or 3% na lang siya compared dung previews. And it is focused on medical programs of the PNP and NBI na lang po. So para sa medical needs na mga members ng Philippine National Police. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay, okay. But Mr. Chairman, we're going to ask also... 1% or 2% of the gross of the whole collection of all the games? If that is so, 2% is so big. Mr. Chair, it's not all the games. It's just STL games. Okay. Anong average niyan? Do you give it monthly, annually? Monthly, Mr. Chair, means na naalala ko, there was a month that we gave around, I think, mga 9 million or 7 million. It depends on the sale. And the chief PNP has the sole authority over these funds. 
it, what, what does the, the, the check the check was addressed to the Philippine National Police jury received by I think there's an accountant and a, a so budget it goes officer. to the general fund of the Philippine yes. National Police yes Mr. Chair okay meron pong ano to resibo po from the PNP na binibigay okay. po sa PCSO okay Sige, thank you okay pwede bang matanong uh, DG Lasso is there such a list called the drug list uh, yes your honor okay thank we you two. thank you Colonel uh, Leonardo, meron bang drug list? Yes, Your Honor. Colonel Garma, meron bang drug list? Yes, Your Honor. Colonel Espinido, meron bang drug list? I have here, sir, list. Okay. <laughs> sinong gumagawa ng drug list? Colonel Garma, sinong gumagawa ng drug list? Pe, uh, Mr. Chair, pwede okay. bang isubmit ni Colonel Espinido? Dala niya eh. In drug listed. We will ask him to to submit that later, uh, Your Honor. But I'm just... Uh, um, yes, sir. Based ask... under, kami po sa station ay naglilista po. Naglilista ng, ang station? Yes, sir. Based sa TI namin, sa mga nahuli. What is TI? Uh, mga Tactical in, in, uh, interrogation, interrogation or investigation po. Disclosure of suspects that are arrested or information coming from assets so, and agents. So, this is done sa uh, level, na, level ng ano? police station, pinakamababa po sa station. Uh, so, kung sa, kaya malalaman natin sa isang jurisdiction, isang stage, police station, alam natin kung ilan yung drug lords, ilan okay. yung uh, drug users, pushers, ganyan. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, sinasubmit po namin sa task to that there is a sharing of intelligence. Kaya kung minsan, yung information ng nasa taas, nakukuha din namin sa baba kasi naka, naayos po namin na nasa area namin yung operation nila. So naisasama din po namin yung intel ng ibang unit. Okay. Si Colonel Leonardo, uh, where does the list come from? Uh, nagsisimula po sa mga station, sa mga pati po barangay, minsan nag-provide din po. So, sa station, sinasubmit yan ng mga polis sa stay sa area? Apo, uh, from uh, from the station, isasubmit na po yung patas. And the station determines sino yung drug lord, sino yung pusher. May difference ba yung pusher sa drug lord? May, uh, I want to get a, a, a categorical answer sa kanila. Kasi kayong nakakaalam. Meron bang uh, difference yung pusher do sa drug lord? Uh, a mass higher level po, I think, yung uh, drug lord. Again, again? Meron, meron po kasing pusher na uh, nagbe, nagbebenta. Pag nagbenta po, kahit uh, isang gramo ng uh, pusher na po yun. Eh. Ah, so pag seller, nag... Uh, once nag... a seller, uh, Mr. Chair, ay uh, pusher na po. Once uh, caught selling, uh, in, the act of, in the act of selling, uh, pusher na po yun. And then? Yung drug lord is, uh, I think, uh, I believe, uh, mas uh, higher level po. Yung mga certain... Uh, amount of drugs uh, confiscated from the suspect, then he, he will be considered So, merong, considered merong large amount of drugs before a person is considered a drug lord? Ganun uh, ba ang, uh, I, I think so, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, in your career, uh, Colonel uh, Leonardo, ilan ng drug lords ang uh, nahuli mo? Uh... Marami-rami rin po, Mr. Chair. Uh, <coughs> hindi ko lang po mabilang kung ilan. Pero marami-rami mara, po, Mr. Pag Chair. Pag drug lord. Uh, drug lord yan, ha? May drug lord po, may pusher. Meron din pong user. Hindi. Ang tanong ko, ilan drug lords ang identified mo at nahuli mo yun na, no, in your entire uh, PNP career? Ma may git pong sampo, masasabi ko. Safe po ako. Na. And may they're now sampo. all in jail? Meron pong... Uh, may buhay pa ba doon sa sampo? Uh, meron din pong ano, may namatay po. Okay. Meron naman pong nasa na convicta, convicted. Kasi ang tanong ng taong bayan ganito eh. Marami tayong nahuhuli. And this ito, this this is a statement that I'm sure the PNP knows and the PDEA knows and the NBI knows. Marami tayong nahuhuling drugs. Pero wala tayong nahuhuli. Karami, maraming beses na ang nahuhuli ay yung mga street peddlers. Pero yung mga ulo, yung mga drug lords, ay hindi natin nahuhuli. Ma Ms. Garma, uh, you can file a motion, but you have to stay 
hear muna. You can file a motion. Kasi tatagal tayo dito. Believe you me. Kasi kanina tinanong na kita yung states mo pa lang na travel. Mali mali yung sinagot mo sa akin. No. Mali. I will Mr. give you Chair, in the um, next hearing, Mr. Chairman, in the next hearing, tatanungin kita liwa ulit kung sasabihin mo ng totoo. Ah, uh, Mr. Chair, I'm telling the truth, Mr. Chair, in my mother's grave. Yung travel ko sa state, sinabi ko na po ang totoo. I don't even know the answer why my visa was invalidated by... <laughs> Hindi lang yung visa, Ms. Garma, alam mo kung bakit ka pinigil. No, Alam. Mr. Chair. I anyway, do not know, Mr. Chair. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, if I ask he, her... Mr. Tatag Chair, if you, I, I will be proven, Point of order, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Wait, wait, wait. Point I'm of lying. order. One minute suspension. I'm not lying. You... Please address the chair when you reply to the question asked by a member, okay? And, uh... uh paki... Ano mo lang? Paki... Clarify mo lang ulit ang iyong gustong sabihin. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chair. Hearing is resume. I wanted to answer the questions, Mr. Chair. I have a daughter waiting for me who attempted to kill herself three times. I cannot leave her, Mr. Chair. She's waiting for me. She attempted three times, Mr. Chair. That's why I cannot leave her. I will answer all your questions, Mr. Chair. With regards to my travels, that is the, that's the real answer. I do not know why my visa was cancelled, Mr. Okay. Chair. Okay. Um, you, you can validate that. If magtanong kay sa Japan kung bakit, they didn't give me the exact answer. I think uh, Cong Congressman Paduano has asked several questions to you, uh, GM Garma. Not just about your trip to Japan. So it it seems that they have not uh, answered his questions, and you appear to be evading uh, the questions that he is asking. Yes. And that is the reason why you were cited in contempt. Yes, Mr. Chair, may I make a statement? That's why I'm appealing to answer, but. As stated by the Honorable uh, Congressman, Mr. Chair, he said that I was uh, not telling the truth about my travel these days, but that's the truth. If that is the only reason, isa lang yan, ano pa yung other questions that I will answer? But with regards to my travel sa states, last travel, yun po ang totoong nangyari sa amin ng anak ko sa Japan. I do not know why my visa was invalidated according to that uh, uh, lady in Japan. Mr. Chairman, to, to be clear, he was not contented because of that question of mine, because of the travel, and in fact, hindi ko na nga pinuruso kasi it is all about the question being raised to you by the members, and you're evading the question. It is not all about the tra your travel in the U.S. Eh, hindi pa nga ako tapos dun eh. Sa totoo lang po. Eh, travel in the U.S., hindi pa ako tapos dun. I tell you. You were cited in contempt because you're evading questions from the very start by the members of this committee, not because my question about your U.S. travel. And, ang totoo nun, hindi pa ako tapos dun. Ms. Garma, akala mo yun lang? Hindi pa ako tapos dun. And I will prove you in the next hearing. Pag hindi ka nagsabi ng totoo, I will prove to you that you're lying. Dun lang muna. Kung yun lang yung gusto mong pag-usapan, yung travel mo sa US, if you not tell the truth in the next hearing, I have all the proof with me. Hiningian lang kita kanina, hindi mo may bigay. With the, uh, kung, in the... kung online ngayon, dapat may record ka eh. Diba? Mr. Mr. Chair? Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, Congressman ako first. Sige. Uh, I think uh, the resource person uh, does not have any recourse with us anymore simply because we have decided if you look around, we do not have any quorum already to decide whether we would withdraw the uh, contempt order or not. So I think the recourse left for the gentle lady is that uh, either here she files a motion for reconsideration or she goes to the court. I think her lawyer knows that. 
Kasi hindi na po tayo pa dahil nag-decide na po yung buong committee kanina. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman. And with, uh, yes, uh, uh, that is true that we have already decided and if you uh, you want to question the decision of the committee, you can either question this before a court or file a motion for recon before the Quadcom. And uh, we will uh, certainly entertain uh, the motion. Uh, but uh, since the committee has already decided and uh, Congressman uh, Fernandez yeah. is uh, about to move to me to yeah. give him the floor and now yes. I give you the floor. Uh, we didn't just up. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, we sympathize with you, uh, Colonel uh, Rohina Garma. No? Uh, but of course, we have already decided and the proper recourse is to uh, uh, apply for a uh, motion for reconsideration. And uh, with, uh, in relation to your um, daughter, daughter na sinasabi mo po uh, can you kindly uh, give us a uh, no no i mean the, the certificate no kasi we really don't know no the uh, yeah uh, we will be asking ano the uh, com the uh, sergeant at arms uh, to patch you know yung uh, anak niya para to be with her uh, para at least ay uh, makita natin yung kalagayan ng kanyang anak so uh, with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, I think uh, it is um, just right for us to uh, uh, bring the the child in here, para makasama po ni uh, Colonel uh, Garma. In love po, Mr. Chairman, and I move to uh, suspend this uh, quadcom uh, hearing uh, till the next uh, hearing will be uh, scheduled. There is a motion to suspend. Julie seconded. Hearing no objection, this committee hearing is suspended.